When building a main menu, there are several challenges that must be solved, including resource management, background loading, and multi-platform controller support. With the release of GFX 3.3, Scaleform introduces the Menu Kit, which provides a sample best practices implementation for handling these challenges. The Menu Kit can be dropped into any game, regardless of genre or platform, including Xbox 360, PS3, and PC. The kit includes all of the flash files, built using best practices that make up each state, as well as several custom-built click widgets, allowing developers to easily modify or build on the original assets. It follows a model view controller design pattern, and includes the full C++ source code with samples of threaded background loading, dynamic resource management, and the menu itself. The kit is built around the various states a main menu transitions through, including a splash screen, intro movie, the main menu, and loading screen. The application makes use of these game states to determine which of the various menu swifts to load. Let's take a look at the menu kit in action. The first state the menu kit enters is the splash state. This state loads and displays the various splash screens, which contain timeline-based animations, and the intro movie if Scaleform video is enabled. Using AMP, we can see that the splash state is also loading all the main menu swifts and assets in the background in preparation for the display of the main menu. Once the splash screen file has finished, it sends a message back to C++, telling it to proceed to the main menu state. Before displaying the main menu state, the application first unloads the splash state's assets. The main menu makes use of a manager, which is used to load and display the various main menu views. Each an individual Swift file, such as main menu, settings, start game, and an exit dialog. The main menu also does a background load of the loading screen assets, so that when the player starts a new game, those assets will already be available. Everything in the menu kit is built on our click framework. This includes an example of complex embedded components, such as you see here on the settings screen, where we have option steppers and checkboxes all embedded in a list component. Heading to the start game screen, we see an effective use of 3D tweened animation using Scaleform's 3DI. Let's start the game. The loading screen includes a background video, if Scaleform video is enabled, overlaid by flash animations. If I press the pause key, I can simulate a network error, which demonstrates the system state. This state loads the system UI SWIFT you see here. The system UI state persists throughout the application, creating the SWIFT instance on demand. It's used to display message dialogues, such as system errors, network errors, etc., and will pause the rest of the game when it's active just as we can see here that the loading screen has paused loading the game. The loading bar is a flash object which is being updated by C++ thanks to our direct access API. Game data is loaded at the same time the background video is streaming via a multi-threaded system that prioritizes the streamed video to ensure it never hitches. Looking again at AMP, we can see the game data being loaded from disk. The menu kit is fully documented, providing detailed code explanations. It provides developers an easily integrated, out-of-the-box solution for menus, which can be customized to fit into any game. It demonstrates threaded background loading via a resource management system, and using our direct access API, it provides complex communication between C++ and Flash. It also illustrates effective use of Scaleform 3DI for 3D menu effects, as well as click usage, including complex embedded UI components. Combining Scaleform's menu and HUD kits, you'll now be able to build complete game UIs faster than ever. Be sure to evaluate GFX 4.0 today.